Hello and welcome to this review of the V Skylabs DC3 C47 uh, for X Plane 11 version 2.0. So I'm gonna look at all the updates uh, that's been done since the last review I did and hopefully get things sorted out and get it into a flight and show you some stuff there too. So I'm simply gonna go through the uh, the changes that's been done and um, I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna look at it if there's something to look at. So first um, if you look at the updated version 1.1 uh, which was made on the 24th of July um, so first they fixed um, some propellers that were in one of feather you can look at that some uh, uh, aircraft is awakening with unfeathered props. So, like if you go in here, unfeather. Oh, actually, yeah, exactly. We just do with feather like this. Um, electrical system tune ups, radios, and other equipment are not connected to the hot bus anymore. Need to turn off battery to use. Um, trim flaps, gear actuator is not electrical dependable. <coughs> Aggressive startup of engines resolved. Uh, external lights are now divided to nab and strobe switches. Which we can see over here. Nab and strobe. Um, electrical system refinements, including connectors to two generators and emitters, me uh, meteors, and meteors. Not those. These ones, I think. Um, Generous some monitoring load and generous ADF frequency manually fixed. So, these, these are the ADFs. Uh, windshield vipers installed and working. So, here, this is the windshield vipers. So, I can turn on the master battery. I see, I'm turning. Oops. Uh, th this was not a way it was in this version, it's been updated. A afterwards I think too. So and then some flight dynamics fixed and sounds. Um, in an early version there was a uh, co-pilot were talking quite silently if I remember correctly and that's been fixed so it's more. Uh, it, it's been removed actually. And some other light lightning stuff and so still. Um, but if we go to version 1.2, which was uh, the next update, so it changed some folder structures, uh, audio selection box, which is here, and that works, that's kind of cool. So that's cool. Um, cowl flaps, version calibration made, um, Pure impression needles correlation fixed, so I guess mm, fuel pressure is here. Oh, where is it? Here, fuel pressure here. And turn back indicator has been so it's this one here. Uh, parking brake indication in the light front, and uh, this is the parking brake, this one. So if I release the parking brakes, they will go out. And if I engage them, they will go out. And by the way, parking brake is set here. So this is the parking brake. You pull it out. I'll just click it. Uh, tailwheel lock indication that I also added. So I think. I don't know which one that is. Wheels locked down, well neutral. Not exactly sure where if this is the tail lock. Somewhere it is like. Um, so, um, and when the engine simulations, he's done some tune up or RPM and fix that. And windshield wipers mounted switch install. That's one that wasn't there before. Uh, pito heat. So, I think 
fixes to that one. Some texture fixtures, land lights, the uh, parking brake handle. So that was the one I showed you there that was added. Flight and some flight uh, dynamics been changed. So, and one other thing was the is set up with a expert mode for the table looks lock. So I'm going to start the ending up so I can show you that. Uh, so master, go nav on, go put the max to both. So I got the, the starting button um, map to keyboard setting. So and this is a nice Lufthansa library which you can download off the uh, um, explain.org. And we are at Tempelhof. No, I think now it's closed. Airport in in Berlin so okay, so both on and this one running so I'm gonna show you the taxi stuff I'm just gonna extend some flaps for takeoff you Okay, so if we release parking mate, you first you'll see the red light going off, like so. And give it some power so we can that's all the rich. Oh damn it, which I turn off. Number one. We'll just restart number one. Or So now it's in in regular mode. So if I'm taxing here, uh, I need to use the two brakes or differential power to, to turn. So if I turn in the rudders, nothing happens. So, um, but if I go down here and set the tailwheel lock now in this mode, then if I use the rudders it will turn so this is the non-expert mode so if you this is not it's done it the way it's done in reality of course it's it, it, i think it has a cast with wheel so but this is you if you want to use it in this way uh, so we'll set that back to law so uh, if you press this little uh, green you get an e-expert, e-x for expert. So now, of course, if I text along here, nothing will happen. I use differential braking, it will turn. Carbon heat, so let's see, it will go. Carbon heat right on. So, but if I do, I'm gonna text up here too. And take off point. Uh, but now if in X E X if I if I uh, lock the table it'll be locked and I can't use it. So I'm gonna show you that in a moment. I'll keep it now. So if I lock the tailwheel nothing will happen with turning on the rudders. And if I can break of course to turn but it won't be ca it's stuck there like it should be. It's locked. Just taxi onto the runway first here. So landing lights on. This is strobe lights. So you need to be pretty nicely aligned with the runway before takeoff.
so so now we're in expert mode till we locked we should get a notion until we locked somewhere can't really see where okay anyway, so that's the change from in version 1.2 that we got the expert mode here which you can use whichever you want to so we're going to set the parking brake uh, so that was changed uh, and then some nap positions on the wing tips was moved in that version so now lights now it's on there uh, and then we'll come to the big change from last review I did, which is version point, uh, point two point oh, which is the current version as I released this. Uh, they're working on another release too. Um, so, continue, when you look at the three D model texture and swing, and the landing gear has been remodeled and re retextured. You see outside. Yes, cool. Um, Passenger seats has been remodeled and retextured, and also you can do this. If you press the first row here, they disappear, which is a, a thing they're done to to get ready for the cargo version. So now we can pretend we have a cargo version if we want to. That's kind of cool. Um, ultra high riveting. So thanks to uh, Oleg Trono. Um, they have done a lot of riveting, so here you can see tons of rivets, which is kind of cool. I like it, it's kind of cool, it's very cool. So, rivet, riveting done. Overhead panel uh, rework, where we work to textures and model. Um, Overhead and pedestal, pedestal panels fixed sun reflections on overhead panels. So that's a little bit changed too. Uh, cockpit panel 3D additions and preparation for version 3. So I'm curious if it was as what to version 3 will contain. Um, so instrument panel, as we indicated, takes the work needle fine and fine tuned for eight, 0 to 8. Um, miles per hour scale, a speed indicator, added speed tapes, tabs, and adjustable tab for personal use. Use manip mouse manipulator or fast setup. So, this is one you can use the wheel on mouse, or you could just use it like so. Don't know what the fast manipulator would be, but, and you can just change this one. The other ones are set, so I guess the red is. Uh, um VNO never exceed oh I would just over speed. Um sixties maybe rudder control and I don't know, time out speed. I think the road eight is around hundred, ninety seven or so. <sighs> okay, systems engines, emergency gear pump added. Uh when no hydraulic pressure and gears go up, gears up, set the handle to down position, click repeatedly on the emergency gear handle. Pump it with the mouse until the transition lights down, down and up going safe line. So, so it's not animated, but it's this one. This one is the emergency gear handle. So we're gonna take off, um, take the gear up, and then we fail the gear system so we can show that. So. Sometimes it has loads time, loading time. Sorry about this. Sometimes when you change your view, it sort of freezes. I locked. Did I get a CTD?
Oh, damn it, I gotta crash the desktop. Well, that sucks. I'm sorry. Okay, so we we'll have to restart that again. Hmm. I'm lo reloading it, sorry. I gotta crash the desktop. I wonder why I got that. I just wanted to take off. Hmm, that's sort of weird. Okay, sorry about that. We need to reload this. It'll take a little while. Anyway, I can read the other stuff that's been done so far. Um, so the emergency gear pump has been added, but not it's not model, uh, and it's not animated yet. Uh, CHT operational temperature tuned. So let's see location. Burning tap off. We'll go the runway. And we'll go engines running. We can just continue where we're. Um, uh, flight dynamics model, elevator trim tab set up for better takeoff handling. handling. Um, sounds F mod project, project initiated but not included in version 2 because F mod is still a full scale project on its own. It will be added to the next update only. Liveries, default Buffalo Airways livery touch-ups, authentic Buffalo Airways interior lining for seats added, additional livery added, V Skylabs livery. Uh, set up the objects files in a package so it will eliminate, eliminate the hassle with the file in the text editors. Um, not sure what that is. Bug fixes, propeller levers will never go out of their gimbals no matter which hardware is being used and with any settings. Magneto's operation, magneto arrow direction corrected, auto lean and auto rich makes this click sounds enhanced for better interactivity. General features, toggle passenger seats, which I showed you. So, um, I like the fact that he does touch ups and changes, he does changes to the um, plane as we go along. And that's, I mean, we, I bought the first version and get the updates for free, of course, which I think it should be. Um, and that's really good. And you get me emails uh, sent to you when uh, it's updated. So you can just click a link and update it and download it pretty fast. So uh, and that's kind of cool. And it's a evolving project. It, that's very clear. It's an evolving project. And that was the same when I download bought the Technum. P206T uh, from V Sky Labs, uh, it, he had changes, and when you got changes, it was updated, and you just uh, got an email saying it was updated, so you download the update. And I think I'm I'm not uh, had any problems with updates. This is the first time I got a set CTD actually using a V Sky Labs thing, and I can't say that it has to do anything to do with the plane. It could be my computer or something. Um, I. I've flown it uh, the, this version too without any problems before, so I don't. I think it's something with my computer. So let's see. We're gonna start here in a second. This is just some plugin I have that makes uh, makes it look this way. Uh, someone probably knows what to do. I don't. Uh, okay, so, so take off trim. No trim. Take off flaps. Hell flaps. Lights are set. Generous. I put generous last time. I don't know if you take off a booster problems, but well, we'll do that. Tail light. We don't need pito. It's not very cold. Uh, I'm gonna arm, actually I'm gonna arm in failure mode. Everything takes, everything is a little bit slow. But that's the way it goes. Oh. So aircraft, uh, landing gear, and I think it was... Q, 
gear actuator system? No. Gear indicator. So this, I think it was this one. So failed at. Okay, time will we'll go. Fifteen hundred feet. Done. Apply changes. Okay, so when past fifteen hundred, it will fail. Hopefully. We lock. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in expert mode. Get forward pressure on the yoke. Get pretty centered. Not not a tail wheel expert by any means. Take. Tap the brakes. Make the wheel stop turning. Gear up. The indication is gone there. So we'll be in the soup pretty soon. Oh, a brilliant day yet. In in. In Berlin, I use uh, the weather, the real weather in the game. So let's see. We'll start. Two. Keep forgetting the settings. I'm not in. I, I need to look at those. I used to know them, but I keep forgetting about them. So we're passing 1500 feet, so the gear should fail. We'll climb a little bit higher just to make sure. So we'll make a turn here. See, look at this beautiful city. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you what this. If you click here, it removes the yoke. So if you think that's in the way, you, you can click here and that will be removed. So let's see. So if we slow down a bit, so So, so now if we're to extend the gears, click here, this can be doing this. Now it won't work because it failed. So the way we know it won't work because we don't get a green light here, and also we can. I mean, if you look at the outside, you see that it didn't extend. So we have a gear failure. So to make sure it's down, which we did put it on down. And then we repeatedly pump this one. You can have a sound there. And it's turning to extend. So you just repeatedly click that till get a green light there. So that's the emergency extending of our gear. Which worked pretty cool. This is a ni very nice liver. Let's see if I can find my way back to the airport. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see very steep approach. That would probably break something in real life. We'll bring up a little map here. So we'll go straight and then we'll try and make a little approach there. So 
So the airport should be up here somewhere. There it is. Um, so, as I said, it's a really cool plane uh, and good update policy, and it gets updated. I mean, it's not. A, some might think that well, it's not a project; it shouldn't be released yet because there's so many money bugs and not stuff that's not working. But the thing is, I actually think this is a good way of releasing stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter which. Uh, I never, all the, the developers I bought stuff from, they always had bugs, so there's always releases and fixes. And this way it got released at a pretty early stage, but it was definitely flyable and workable without too much fuss and problems, so I forgot to put the flaps up actually. Um, and it's been updated continuously, which I, I think is good. Let's see if we can make this turn and tower. Final approach here. Been a bit too steep. Right, there's the runway. See, I'm not a good tailwheel tail dragger pilot, just so you don't understand why the the landing will be crap. They usually are. I'll try to Maybe this is not sixty five, maybe that's the stall speed. need to read up on my I mean the airspeeds are here so I should just read there. Oh god I really like the dynamics in X Plane eleven. They're really cool. And this is really cool. I mean this is a very nice I mean houses and stuff are really cool. Um probably as realistic as we ever got in Flex Simulator. Now FSX and prepare users will say that yeah, it's not true. Well I, I can't really say but anything about that I'm not using those simulators. So I think Oh that was pretty decent landing actually. Well if we can keep it on the center line. Oh okay. Tail wheel off. U turn here just to show you. What can be done with a plane with a tail wheel? can turn on a dime, then that's kind of cool. Bring your flaps up. Okay, so I really like this model. I highly recommend it. And the price is, I mean, it doesn't cost a lot. Um, okay. Carbon heat, you right? Yeah, should turn on the carb heat. Oh, uh, I'm wobbly. We're going too fast, that's the problem. Um, price is awesome. I mean, this is a really good. I mean, if you look at the stuff Carnotics and uh, put it out, those are really nice, but they cost like 34 35 bucks. This costs 24 95 so this is not. I mean, this is a pretty good deal, and, and that's the price I'm willing to pay. For this kind of simulator, which is a really good one, 
um, I think 25 bucks is a fair amount um, especially when it comes when the updates and all that stuff works pretty nicely um, I think car and other stuff is too expensive I'm sorry uh, and they're, they're, they're very beautiful planes uh, and they work excellent but they're about 10 bucks too much I mean and there's other stuff that's so expensive which is I mean I, I understand the developers cost and stuff and that's probably the only realistic economics on it, of it but I think it's too much I think you get more people doing simulators and you get more people buying these stuff if it was slightly lower um, but I, I, I'm happy people do the developing stuff uh, the freeware stuff and the payware um, see, I hope I got this one last one <laughs> last review of it, I did of this I got a lot of complaints that I did stuff wrong so I probably did I did stuff wrong on here too procedure wise but hopefully you got a sense of the changes that have been made since the last version last uh, review I did uh, to the V Sky Labs DC3 C47 plane and there's lots of stuff that's been added and changed so that's pretty cool and it's a very cool paint. Uh, check out this quite a few repaints of liveries coming out, uh, which you can find um, off on Explain.org, Explain.org site. For instance, this uh, Lufthansa liver. I just have to go to and drive. So, which is very cool. And there's a number of other stuff updated to. Uh, liver is done for me. Uh, so I'm gonna certainly go and shut down here. If they're clicking, clicking noise in the background, that's my toe brakes, which click for some reason on my pedals. So this was a manageable, man, manageable speed. So if you have any, any tips, tricks, anything like that, you please welcome, welcome to post that in the comment section. Um, in the link to the plane will be in the, um, in the description. If you're wondering, so it's just kill engines here, and we'll go. I still think this is all the way. Should be the other way. But do I know? Let's turn everything off. I'm best, but so so we are sleeping here. Um. So I hope you enjoy this review. Of the V Skylabs DC3 C47 Flying Lab project version 2.0. Um, 2495. Um, I don't get interested in any way for doing this. I paid money for it. I think it's a cool, cool mod or add on. Um, so check it out. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, or share. Any criticism is truly and greatly appreciated. Um, please keep it constructive. Um, just saying that it sucks doesn't really help me to improve the channel. So please let me know in what way I could improve stuff too. Uh, give it just a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But hopefully you think it's a thumbs up. Uh, and go, go fly some. Blue skies. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.